Thanks, guys. I'm here with Coach Yeagley. Now, Coach, coming into this matchup against Rutgers, the last time you played these guys at home, it was a 4-1 defeat. Does that come into your mind at all? What are your expectations for the matchup? We remember the game. We do. I talked to the players about it. Um, you know, it's healthy to look back and reflect. You just can't do it very long. Um, it's a, this is a new team. They're a different team. It's going to be these guys are going to win, win or, uh, or lose a game. So it's not about uh, redemption, but we do definitely remember that game. So uh, I'm sure that will play into a factor with some of our experienced guys. And stylistically, how are you looking to match up against Rutgers? Rutgers is talented. They're very good going forward. They're good in transition. They're athletic. Um, they have players that can make individual really nice um, or create great moments for themselves and others. So our principles have to be great. We have to be really good in transition and and um, not get casual at all when it comes to our defending, um, certainly the mid-third and back-third. Now, this past weekend, you guys scored two goals against Northwestern, one really early on with Toy. Do you see that this team is starting to really break through against teams that play back? Well, it was good to see us find a goal, and I think the first one was you know, a good indication of you know what we train and talk about and where opportunities might come, and we were able to create that with, uh, with Corey on the little overlap and ball into the six and nice hard post run, ball kind of bounced around, and Mason was there kind of for a tap, but good goal. Um, and we, I still think we, we, we can find restart goals in tight games, so we didn't find one in that game, but I feel like they're coming. Um, we have to be effective against the different styles, and I think this team is capable of doing that, and we've seen it. We've seen teams that sit, we've seen teams that press. Um, so that's kind of our scheduling model is to prepare us for all of those styles, and I think we're, we've fared so far felt pretty well. And just from this past week in general, what are, have been some of the main takeaways? Well, we wanted the guys to be, you know, really thinking about their transition. We wanted them to get around goal. We think we're going to get, you know, enough chances to, to put one away. We just got to be decisive and and know that that might, mindset-wise, be the only one you get. Maybe you get a couple more, but mindset-wise, that's my chance. I got to finish that and, uh, again, continue to be strong on restarts and develop that area of our game ongoing. Um, that's an ongoing process. And then lastly, looking at just the grand scheme of things, you guys have been in the top five of the rankings for the last couple of weeks. How does your team handle high expectations? Well, they come here with that. I mean, it doesn't matter if we're ranked or unranked. I, I you know, I, I, I say that every year. It's teams uh, target us. The, we're the circled game on most teams' um, schedules, and we, we accept that challenge. We know we have to bring our best to get results, and we just keep staying in the process because what we're ranked right now is not going to, again, indicate anything going forward. It's just a reflection on the past. We do have to say, take a moment and say, good job, well job, you know, job well done. Um, we, we, we have to enjoy the moments that we're having along the way and focus on the good things, but it's, it's no, uh, it's no uh, precursor to what's ahead. We just got get, to get, get to work. Thank you very much, Coach. Back to you guys.